show that 1 over r plus 2 over r plus 1 minus 3 over r plus 2 is equal to 2 times 2r plus 1 over r, r plus 1, r plus 2, and then hence find the sum from 0, r0 zero to n of 2 times 2r plus 1 over r times r plus 1 times r plus 2. Okay, so what we need is a common denominator. So a common denominator would be r, r plus 1, r plus 2. Note, you would not be needed to multiply that out. So this 1 then has been multiplied by r plus 1, uh, r plus 2. The 2 has been multiplied by r, r plus 2. And the minus 3 has been multiplied by r, r plus 1. Multiplying out, we're just going to get r squared plus 3r. That gets from 2r plus r. 1 times r, that gives you 3r plus 2. 2r squared plus 4r minus 3r squared. Be very careful here, minus 3r. Be careful with the sign there over the same denominator. Right, this r squared and the 2r squared will cancel out with the minus 3r squared. And then 3r and minus 3r will also cancel out. So we're left on the in the numerator, 4r plus 2 over the same denominator, the common factor of 2. So we've got 2, 2r plus 1 over r, r plus 1, r plus 2. Right, so we've done the first part. Part A, we now need to find the sum. Part B, so we now need to find the sum from r to 1 to n of 2 times 2r plus 1. r, r plus 1, r plus 2. It said hence in the question, so we should replace that with 1 over r plus 2 over r plus 1 minus 3 over r plus 2. Now, if we write out uh, the terms of this uh, summation... So first when r is equal to 1, so you're going to get 1, 1 over 1, and you're going to get 2 over 2, I'm going to really leave it as that for the moment, minus 3 over 3, I'll leave that as that for the moment, when r is 1. When r is 2, we're going to get 1 over 2, plus uh, 1 over 2 over 3, minus 3 over 4. We're going to do one more, when r is equal to 3, we're going to get 1, over 3. Notice look how I'm setting this out. So I'm lining up all the ones with 2, all the ones with 3, and then a 2 over 4. I'm not cancelling down fractions. Minus 3 over 5. And then the next one will be carry on, and then there'll be another one. And then I'm going to look at the last but, the second from last term, when r is equal to n over 2. So it's going to give me 1 over r, 1 over n minus 2. 2 over n minus 2 plus 1, which gives me n minus 1. And then minus 3 over n minus 2 plus 2, which gives me minus 3 over n. Now I'm going to check when r is n minus 1. So I'm going to get 1 over uh, n minus 1. Again, lining up the column that it's in. And then 2 over n. n r is r plus 1, so it's n minus 1 plus 1 which gives me n, and then of 3 over n plus 1, because it's n minus 1 plus 2, which gives you n plus 1. And then finally, I'm going to do the last term. So I'm going to get 1 over n, 2 over n plus 1, minus 3 over n plus 2. Right, now I'm going to consider the ones here in this green box, the terms in this green box. If we notice here... We've got minus 3 over 3 plus 2, three over, 2 over 3 plus 1 third. They will cancel out. If we go down to the end here, the last one here, we've got minus 3 over n, 2 over n plus 1 over n. That, they will also become 0, which means all the intermediate terms, that will become 0, and that one will also become 0, and all the ones in between will become 0. So we'll just be left with the term for the sum with the ones outside of the green box. So the, the sum will be 1 plus 2 over 2 plus a half minus 3 over n plus 1 plus 2 over n plus 1 minus 3 over n plus 2. Right, just writing that out again. Right, so simplifying that, that becomes 5 over 2 
Uh, minus 3 over m plus 1 plus 2 over m plus 1 gives me minus 1 over m plus 1. And then we've got minus 3 over m plus 2. So this is the sum. Now you might be asked to write it as a common denominator. So it's the same as before. So the 5 will be multiplied by m plus 1, m plus 2. Minus 1 times 2 times m plus 2. Minus 3 times 2 times m plus uh, 1. Multiplying out, we get uh, n squared plus 3n plus 2, minus 2n minus 4, be careful with the minus sign, minus 6n minus 6, again be careful with the minus sign, over the same denominator. Taking the 5 in, we get 5n squared uh, plus 15n plus 10, Two, minus 2n minus 6n gives me minus 8n, minus 4 minus 6 gives me minus 10 over the same denominator. The tens cancel out, so we've got 5n squared plus 7n, because 15 by take away 8 gives you 7n over the same denominator. A common factor of n will give me the sum of the series that we're being asked to find, or the summation we've been asked to find. Okay, so this has been a video where we are actually telescoping with three terms. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching. I'll just point out that you know how you set it out will make the problem much easier for you. Okay, thank you very much for watching.